Hi everyone, it's Michael. Today we're going to show you how to create beautiful pictures in Primavera. We're going to show you how to create beautiful pictures that look like this. This is what we call the stacked histogram and it is part of the resource usage profile. Today we'll do a quick walkthrough to show you how to get this kind of thing happening in your Primavera P6. Ready? Here we go. Today we're working with the Juniper Nursing Home Project and we want to get the resource histogram working for us. Resource histogram is a really nice view that lets you stack your resourcing on top of each other and it's often used, uh, submitted as reports and whatnot, but it gives you a really nice analysis and can help you see what types of resources are being used at what points in the project. So to do this, we are going to work on the resource usage profile screen. And uh, many of you are probably already familiar with this. To get uh, things moving in the right direction, on the left hand side, I'm displaying all the resources. So I would like to filter that by just the current project's resources. And you can see there's quite a long list on the Juniper Nursing Home Project. Lots of, uh, lots of different trades and some management uh, kind of folks in there. Now that we've filtered on current projects resources, we want to set up our stacked histogram. To do that, we'll click this right display bar and we will choose stacked histogram. Notice I don't have show all projects. I want to keep my resource display within the scope of just the project I have open. So we'll make sure that's unchecked and we'll check stacked histogram. Yeah, at first it doesn't look very glamorous. I have an empty screen on the left-hand side and no bars. So there's quite a bit of setup that needs to happen. It's not difficult setup, but it involves quite a bit of clicking. The step is essentially to create filters to filter different resources. Let's see how that works. Once again, we'll click this display bar. We'll go down to resource usage profile options. If you're familiar with this screen, when you have the stacked histogram setting on, you'll notice it looks a little different. I have this kind of filtering area down here. It looks different than what we're used to seeing. What we need to do is set up the filters that I've discussed. Here's how those filters work. We'll first add a line. I get my familiar filter box come up. And in the drop down, the typical stacked histogram would filter on different types of, uh, sorry, not different types of resources, but by the different resources that we have. You can see that there's all sorts of different ways to filter uh, from everything from calendar to max units to overtime to shifts. And any of those could work for you. You may create a really unique stacked histogram, uh, perhaps based on shifts if you want, or even based on calendar and whatnot. We're going to keep things simple in this tutorial. And we're going to do it based on resource ID. So selecting resource ID, we'll now go over here to the value area and we get our familiar little button. If this isn't filtered, you want to filter this by the current project's resources and then sort them alphabetically. It'll make your life a lot easier. And essentially the first filter that we're going to build will be for the first resource I want on my histogram, the concrete sub. Select him and then call this concrete sub. This name here that we put in the filter will show up on the left hand side and it tends to be part of the labeling. So you want to put a nice descriptive name in there. It can show up on printouts. Go ahead and click OK. And just so you can see how things are progressing, we'll click apply. Concrete sub shows up and here's the histogram for the concrete sub. Now let's start stacking different uh, resources on there. Click add again. Once again, go down, choose resource ID. This time we'll put in our conveying sub. Click OK. Again, give you the apply so we can see how it progresses. We'll do a third one.
adding my drywall. We'll do it one more. And we'll add in our electricians. And we'll click apply. Clicking OK, you can start to see how we build out that histogram. Unfortunately, for if you want to display every resource, you do need to go and add a filter for each resource, something I find really tedious. I have been searching for easier or kind of shortcut ways, any way we can streamline this process, but I have come up with no ideas. It simply seems to be a matter of going in here and adding a filter for each uh, resource that you want on there. Now, some common questions are, how many can I put on there? Uh, I have not been able to hit a limit. You can, you can add in as many as these, of these filters as you like, and you will continue to stack and stack and stack. Now, it's time for you to show off. Get into Primavera and start creating some stacked histograms. Show them off to your boss and colleagues. Thanks for checking out the tutorial.